and last one. Hey, what do you think of the tree? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks great. What? Don't you like Christmas trees? Oh yeah, it's great. But I care more about what's under it. Under it? Sweet red presents. Like a Nintendo Switch. Wow, I could have known. Who is that? What is he doing? Well, that's certainly not Santa. I'll get a broom to chase him away. But, but why? He's giving us presents. Hey, if there's someone in your house who you don't expect, you as a citizen have the right to remove some from Roy. Is that a Nintendo Switch? Wow. Hmm. Let's get this party started. Comfy cushions. Delicious food. And... Music. Everything to impress the ladies. <laughs> oh. What? You can even fly in snowy storms? Oh my, you must be so tough. Aww. Oh, for the love of... Oh my, your wings are so fluffy. Hey, my tail is also fluffy. Yeah, okay. Hey, is that food? <sighs> you know, there are more pretty girls in the sea. Hmm. You're totally right. I think I saw sparkle mice by the balcony. Hey, thanks for cheering me up. You really are like a little sister, you know? Hey, Nikki, have you seen my tail? Huh. Hey, I couldn't find you on the party last week, but I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go on a date with me. What? A date? I'm actually on a date right now. Oh, there she is. Oh, hey, Cherry. No way. Shall we go? Wait, can you get me an autograph? It's been over five years already. I'm finally going to tell him how I feel. Oh, hey, Rumi. Hey, Alex. I, um, I have to tell you something. Look, my package arrived. I got a Gengar sweater. I got giant Pokemon cards. This fluffy pink cream. Um, I don't think that's cream. A Tomb Tomb. And cute little figures. Nice, right? Yeah, very nice. Alex... I have to tell oh, you. Oh, and I got a date with Susie from the hardware store. <sighs> so close. So, you still haven't told Alex how you feel about him? Oh, no. I can't find courage, and it's never the right time. Mm, I don't know. Maybe you just have to forget about him. I'm going on a date with something totally different. I know. I can set you up with my brother, Pyrrhus. Hmm. I don't know. I really like Alex. And I know he likes me too. He just has to realize it. Hey, ladies. Oh, Penny, can I borrow your Game Boy for my vacation? So, Alex, going on a trip to score some dates? Huh? Oh, I'm going to visit my aunt at her beach house. Oh. <laughs> to meet a lot of girls. Yeah, can I have your brother's number? Whoa, it's really nice here. Oh, but um, Aunt Kenneth, where is Uncle James? Oh, Alex, you know that fox. He's always busy with his research. That's why, my dear, I'm so happy you could keep me company here. But I really need to ask you, why didn't you bring your girlfriend? That cute squirrel, um... Penny was her name, right? What? Penny is not my girlfriend. We're just roommates and good friends. Are you sure? Because you always talk so fondly about her. You haven't had a girlfriend as long as you know her. And you always insist on spending the holidays with her. I think you two are more than just friends. <laughs> Me and Penny more than friends? I think someone just realized something. <laughs> hey. Hey, bro. What's that noise in the background? Where are you? 
In Japan, on a Lika convention. In Japan? Again? But what's up, bro? Wow, you really spend a lot of time in Japan. Uh, but I called you because I needed to talk to someone about Penny. Things are kinda different now that... No way! Penny finally told you she loves you? What? Penny is in love with me? Oh, you didn't know. So, wait a minute. Penny also has feelings for me? How long have you known? Um, about five years. Five years? How did I never notice this? I also asked myself that, you blind chicken. This is not one of your pranks, right? Although this would have been a great prank. No, she is really hopelessly in love with you. Which you also have feelings for her, right? I'm not sure what I feel. But I know I need to see her as soon as possible. I'm taking the first flight home. I have to go, sis. Go, brother. Go to Red Squirrel. Look into her eyes and tell her... Oh, he's already gone. And he's going to be my sister-in-law! Thank you guys for being here. I was feeling a little bit sad when Alex went on his vacation. Yeah, I thought something like that. That's why I invited over my brother Pyrrhus. What? Why? No! I heard he's very handsome and smart. I really didn't do my hair. And this is a very old dress. And... Um, maybe Alex will like me more than just friends one day. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, no, no. I'll get it. No, no, wait. Henry, please say something to her. Oh, why bother? You don't talk. You are right, Daisy. She's very cute and pretty. <laughs> There she is. No time to waste. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Hey, Penny! Oh, hey, Alex. How was your vacation? Oh, uh, yeah, very relaxing. Great. And how is your aunt doing? Aunt Kenneth is doing great. But hey, I wanted to talk to you about something. As you know, you and I have been very good friends for a long time. And I have the fee- Oh, before I forget, do you have my Game Boy? Uh, yeah, it's in my bag. Great! I want to do a Link Cable Pokemon battle with Pyrrhus. Who is Pyrrhus? Hey! I got him. Let's start with video game night. Oh, hey. You must be Penny's roommate, Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Pyrrhus Felis. Uh, Alex Fox. Hey, I was thinking. I play Pokemon Blue and you Red. We meet at every gym you pass and challenge each other to a Pokemon deal. Oh, that's a great plan. I'm too late. Wow, I can't believe you want so many plushies for me. I'm happy you like them. Oh, my dad called this morning. He said he would really like to meet my new boyfriend. I would love to meet your dad. They are the only family I have, being adopted and all. What's it like to have so many siblings? I always forget all their names. Well, Sabrina and Daisy, you know. I also have a younger brother named Felix and an older sister named Violet. But she has been missing for a while now. I really hope she turns up one day. Hmm. Uh, but hey! What's your favorite Pokemon? Um, let's see. I like Falpix, Zorua, Eevee and Fennekin. So, you like Fox Pokemon? Yeah, I love Fox Pokemon. <sighs> Alex? Penny? I'm still in love with you. I want to be with you. Penny? I... <laughs> Filpini? That's not funny! Using your powers like that! Yeah, I'm sorry. 
but your face is just priceless. I'm already feeling bad about the whole situation. Sorry, I cut you in this mess. Telling you she loves you and all. I would have had the same feelings for her when I saw her with Beerus anyway. <laughs> What's so special about Beerus? So what? He's tall, handsome and has two different cold eyes. What does he do for a living? He's a model for a fashion brand. What? Well, you can shake it. Uh, I mean, um, Benny loved you for over five years. That doesn't go away so fast. Just wait, brother. And go focus on something else, like um, Halloween. You going to throw a Halloween party this year, right? Uh, yeah, I'll throw a party this year. You're also going to be there, right? Yeah, I'll probably drop by later. You like skeletons, nightmares and monsters, right? <laughs> I'm late, I'm late. Can you see it? I'm the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yes, you look wonderful in this outfit, Benny. She looks super cute in this outfit. What are you dressed up as? <laughs> I'm a black cat. I don't need a costume for Halloween. Hey guys, does anyone know a scary Halloween story? Hmm, maybe Henry knows the story. No, Henry already told the story tonight. Oh, oh, I know. We can tell you about our ancestor, Mortis Felis, the soul taker. Who is Mortis Felis? Legend tells that the Felis family is descended from this powerful being. They said he was a black cat with a skeleton as a body. He would creep up on his victims and before they noticed something, they would stare into a pair of big eyes and feel long claws in their body, taking away their souls. Alex, wasn't your family also related to a powerful being? Uh, yeah, to a trickster fox or a kitsune or something. My sister Vulpini can tell you more about it, if she ever gets here. A trickster fox, huh? Yeah, that sounds very scary. Hmm? Huh? Guys, where are Daisy, Henry and Sabrina? They, they were just here. Where are they? How is this possible? They were just over there and then they just vanished. Wow, this is just weird. Where are they? Ah! Oh, what's that? Benny, look out! Alex! Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Did he just leave or something? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Enough! I spent a lot of money on this princess dress. I'm not going to get this evening ruined by a skeleton chicken. If you really are who I think you are, have you seen my sister? Is Violet with you? Tell me. Mortis Felis. What did you say? Huh? Ah! Daisy? Hey, you're all back. What do you mean? We were here the whole time. No! Look, there's another one! <laughs> Trick or treat! Vulpini! No, great, you could finally make it to the party. Hey guys, thank you for helping tricking my friends. No problem. Those poor souls really thought it was you the whole time. Yeah, I don't think they're ready for the truth about their family legends. I think James has a few copies of his book in the study room. Hmm, let's see. So, you need this book for school? Yeah, I'm writing an essay about it. Uh, Aunt Kenneth, is Uncle James not home? I would like to ask him some questions for my essay. No. Your Uncle James is on one of his business trips again. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, that's the doorbell. I really need to get that. Go ahead and see if you can find that book. Yeah, of course. Hmm, let's see. No, that's not it. Huh? What's this? Davis. V. Fetus. Descended from Mortis Fetus. Special powers, telekinesis, and soul taking. Note, extremely dangerous. <laughs> I didn't know Uncle James writes fiction. <laughs> what? That's Volpini! What does my sister do in this file? V. Fox. Descended from Morpheo Philpus. Special powers, shape shifting. But that's actually true. And uh, uh, wait, I know her. This is Olivia. Olivia Avis, Henry's little sister. Her special powers are mood control. And these two are blank. Ah, oh, this is getting creepy. No! And Kenneth? She's also in here. See Lupus. Descended from Imperus Lupus. Special powers. Uh, Felicia, did you find the book? Uh, yeah, yeah. And did you find the book? Oh, you found it. How great. Shall I make some tea? Actually, I have to go. I got a lot of inspiration for my essay. And I want to get home before I lose it. <laughs> Of course, dear. Your uncle is just the same. Will I be seeing you with Christmas? Uh, y yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, you can't remember anything before I found you in the woods? Like a sound, a person, or something else? I don't remember who I was or where I came from. The only thing I can remember are two green eyes and a male voice saying, You first have to die. Then he pushed me. Oh, my head. Oh. Hey, hey, it's okay, Caio. We are the same, you and I. I hope you don't mind calling you Caio. With not knowing your real name. I like Kayo. Because you gave it to me. <laughs> oh, maybe on our next date we can shop together. Hey, are you listening? What? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, as I was saying, pastel colors are the best thing to wear. Because they blend in just great. You can combine it with everything, like bags, skirts, <sighs> shoes, jewelry, just name it. Oh, hey Alex. I didn't know you were going out tonight. Yeah, I had a thing, but I'd rather be home. Hey, do you want to play the new Pokemon Switch game with me? Oh, um... I'm actually playing it together with Peter's at the moment. Hmm. Is it getting serious between you and Peter's? Yeah, I think so. Um, we only had a few dates yet, but there really is a click. Yeah, I think I really like him. The only thing that matters is that you are happy. Well, I think I'm gonna start a new adventure by myself then. Can I still watch how you play? Of course, Penny. Uh, welcome to our monthly Japanese street fashion lovers club. Let's see, everyone is here except for Bunny. She moved to England last week, remember? Oh, of course. Uh, how could I forgot about that? How silly of me. Even setting her up with my brother Alex on a date didn't change her mind to stay. <laughs> what? Alex went on a date with Bunny? Yes, why? Don't you like it when Alex goes on a date? 
Is it because you still like him? Hey, she's dating my brother now. Like Daisy says, I'm dating Pyrrhus now. And I'm totally over Alex. Believe me, the only one I want to be with is Alex. Uh, Pyrrhus. Uh. Hmm. Hey, has anyone seen Henry? He was just over here. Henry, where are you? I'm telling you, man. The last time they had their Japan fashion thingy, I had to take 62 hair clips out of my fur. 62! Believe me, it's best to hide in my room. Although I'm also kind of hiding from Penny. Yeah, 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 I know what you're going to say. She's dating Pyrrhus now and I have to deal with that. And you're totally right. But it's getting harder every day. The fact that we're also roommates doesn't really help. I love that I can see her every day, but it's also torture. <sighs> I really think it's better for me to move out. Oh, here you are, Henry. You're on your own, man. What do you think of the tree? It looks great. Oh my, so cute. Hey, what's that? Huh? What? Oh, I sent out my resume a few weeks ago and I got a response. What? Are you telling me you don't like your job at the radio station? It's okay, but this job will give me total creative freedom. They even say I can make my own music. Well, what are you waiting for? Take the job. It's in Sweden. Sweden? Yeah, so I'm not going to take it. Well, at least you don't have to miss us and Penny. Uh. Hey, is that Aunt Kenneth? I haven't seen her for ages. I'm going to say hi. Aunt Kenneth is here with Uncle James? No, of course not. He has work stuff, like usual. Hey, Aunt Kenneth! Oh, I haven't seen you for so long! Do you think Uncle James is a good person? Yeah, he's a famous writer. He's rich and he let me rent his apartment. Oh yeah, being famous and rich makes you a good person. Yeah, yeah, okay. But he married Aunt Kenneth, and she's the nicest person in the world. Yeah, she is. Hey. Wait, is this about that folder you stole from their house? But Alex, I'm telling you, there's strange information about Fol- I don't want to hear it, Felicia. Just give it back. Fulpini would say the same. You look really cute with those antlers. I really don't get what's so special about that Pyrrhus Felis. Pyrrhus Felis? As in Mortis Felis? Hmm. Oh, hi, Fulpini. Hey, Daisy. Hi, Henry. Did I hear you have a girlfriend? Oh, what's her name? Oh, her name is Kayo. Oh, what an unusual name. But why didn't you bring her to the party? She's kind of shy around people. But maybe next year. Oh, I totally understand. Sabrina and Felix are also home, together with our father. Um... Hi. Hey. We haven't met yet. I'm Felicia Fox. Pyrrhus Felis. So you are Alex's little sister. <laughs> I'm not that little. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tall then. Yeah, you are kind of tall. <laughs> um, can I ask you a weird question? <laughs> the weirder the better, I think. Um, your name is Phyllis. Does it mean you are related to Mortis Felis? Mortis Felis the Soul Taker. Well, that's more of a Halloween story that my family likes to tell. But yeah, the legend says we're related to Mortis Felis. Have you ever heard of Edifus? No, but it sounds really interesting. Ah, Pyrrhus, can you please help me? I'm almost dropping the cookies. Oh, sorry, I have to help my girlfriend. But I definitely want to hear more about this diva stuff. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, 
What a nice young man. Someone you could fancy. Um, he's helping his girlfriend now. Oh, you left so fast the last time I saw you. <sighs> yeah. Is there something bothering you, dear? Because you can tell me anything. Thank you, Aunt Kenneth. Aunt Kenneth, I'm so sorry to ask you this, but why is Uncle James never around? <sighs> I'm not sure. He says he's doing research for his new book, but I really don't know for sure. I'm very happy I could celebrate this Christmas with you. And the fact your brother is the spitting image of James when he was younger kinda helps. <laughs> Are you just going to sit here and sup all day? Hey, as long as you bring me food, I got everything I need right here. Oh no, I dropped them. <laughs> it's okay, Penny. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to Sweden. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you. You really have weird traditions. Yeah, it's best to just go with it. <laughs> hey, can I come in? Yeah, of course. Oh, are you working on a new outfit? Yeah, I have a school project in January. So I'm taking some spare time to work on it. It looks great already. You will definitely become a great fashion designer. But I came here to give you something. It's kinda old fashioned and big, but I thought you might like it. It's a family fox heirloom. It's kinda like your cube, although it's not a school, of course. Thank you. It, it looks so pretty. And you are giving it to me? Yeah. Alex, are you really going to leave? Yeah, I'm leaving in a few days. I'm happy you could find your dream job. But I'm going to miss you. I'm also gonna miss you, Penny. More than you'll ever know. <laughs> 